Blessed William Chaminade and St. Julie Billiard put it very well. For new times, new methods, give them what they need for life. So said the founders of the religious orders that established Chaminade Julian Catholic High School. Today's 21st century Chaminade Julian campus is taking the advice of the founders, changing for the better in ways you can see. It's Chaminade Julien's long-awaited field of dreams, blue-green field. At long last, CJ's hard-driving athletic teams have a place on campus to practice. Nearby, something else is new. It's for all students as well as elite athletes and for everyone in the Chaminade Julien community. It's the Student Conditioning Center, a facility unrivaled among high schools in the Miami Valley. Blue Green Field was the result of CJ's collaboration with DPNL and Kokosing Construction. The land, valued at nearly $1 million, came as a gift of DPNL, but also included a long shuttered steam generation plant. After CJ demolished this massive building, the school partnered with Kokosing Construction to grade the area and bring in topsoil. A group of CJ parents volunteered to help install sprinklers, plant seed, and bring to life the field that is today lush and green and ready for CJ students. And this construction site was a rubble pit, so you scratch the surface and you're dealing with rocks and bricks and retaining walls and scrap iron, and, and it was quite a challenge. Volunteers worked hard to bring Blue Green Field to life. Other volunteers, including construction project manager Steve Buddy, class of 1969 and longtime volunteer, helped to renovate an empty warehouse to create the new student conditioning center for CJ. It was a fast track project, probably about a six month construction span, if that. Before and after pictures are just going to be absolutely phenomenal. The building group did a great job. I don't think there's any other high school in this area that has anything like it. Oh, it's, it's beautiful inside, uh, and there's an absolutely phenomenal weight room in there that would rival uh, the facilities of most small colleges and, and certainly the big schools in the Dayton area. Just beautiful. The center provides a 70-yard turf space for outdoor sports workouts, an indoor basketball and volleyball court, and a multi-purpose room for wrestling and other sports programs. The centerpiece is the conditioning area filled with fitness equipment to help students reach their health and fitness goals. I've got a couple of uh, graduated football players that are pretty jealous they didn't get to use the facility, so <laughs> it's really remarkable. And I think this facility is, is, is one that the uh, Eagles of Chaminade and Julianne are, are going to be very, very proud of. The new facilities on the CJ campus aren't just for show. They will continue to make a difference for students in the years ahead. Just ask someone who's seen a lot of changes here basketball coach Joe Staley, class of 1972. Well, I've been here, like I said, I've been here 26 years, and I can remember when we lifted in a classroom. I can remember when our wrestling team wrestled uh, in the art room. And how things have changed for CJ. Now there's room for students who want a condition for sports and for teams to practice. Our administration and our alumni and our board of trustees and just the people that are in charge of our school uh, realize how important extracurriculars are to a, to a young person's education. The Student Conditioning Center brings a lot of changes for athletes, including one that athletic trainer Lori Dozer considers very important. Now we're right by the weight room, so any rehab that we need to do is, is right next door, where we don't have that over in the main building. The new facility also makes it easier for athletes to cross train and that brings an important benefit. You know, you have a whole bunch of different areas. You can work every part of your body and that cross training allows for a decrease in injuries. Well, it's going to make a huge difference for us. I'm the basketball coach and first of all, when we lifted, uh, when we worked out in the weight room, that was always a long way from the gym, but in the off seasons, in the fall and in the spring. The court's just really not been available to us very often. And now the new gym, we can't wait to get in there. We're gonna have a basketball court that's literally a few feet away from the weight room. We're getting a lot of questions on when is the building gonna be done? When are, gonna be, when are we gonna be able to get in there and start using it? So it is kind of exciting that they are really very, very excited. Blue Green Field makes a big difference too. CJ's athletes for the first time are now able to practice on CJ's campus it wasn't always that way. 
Just imagine being a football coach and every day you have to load the buses, take a 30 minute drive, 30 minute drive back. They add probably an hour, hour and a half to their practice by having to travel off campus. I think this is the first year our football team is going to be on campus the whole year. Mm -hmm. That'd be right. Yep, that's right. The new facilities on the Chaminade Julienne campus are part of a master plan developed over many years. The plan imagines the future of the campus in the years to come. The 2004 planning process was really designed uh, to solidify our commitment to this location where we've been since 1886 uh, and was designed to imagine what we could do. And it addresses everything. It addresses the academics, it addresses the athletics and the extracurriculars, it addresses the kinds of space that students in the 21st century need to have to excel in. And so we'll always be looking for opportunities around us so that our vision for this campus can really come alive. The vision for CJ's future also embraces the needs of the larger Chaminade Julienne community, including parents, alumni, and friends of the school. With having been around for 125 years on this location, 160 years total, there's a whole lot of people who care about this place. We want to, want to create more spaces where that, the Chaminade Julian community can come and gather, whether it's as reunion classes, here on campus, here at our home, or it's watching kids excel in athletics, excel in performing arts, the kinds of things that let the community come together to appreciate um, kids excelling in what they do. For the planners, the commitment goes beyond the borders of the Chaminade Julian campus. With its long history, CJ is an important part of the future of downtown Dayton. The Chaminade Julian community is committed not only to this corner, this land that we're sitting on, but to the central city that we're in as well. So the community has begun to recognize people who aren't affiliated with us, people who don't know, have any natural connection to us are recognizing that Chaminade Julianne stands as an important institution within the city. We are physically an important anchor to the southern end of downtown. And that the progress that we're making is really critical to being able to make this larger case for why the center city of Dayton is important to the larger region. Things are on the move at Chaminade Julianne Catholic High School, and there's plenty more to come. Continuous improvement of the campus helps the high school continue its long tradition of educational excellence guided by an abiding faith, a tradition of helping young people understand the world around them and what God is calling them to do. It's a tradition that helps CJ students develop their talents on the way to becoming compassionate, contributing members of our society. We are Chaminade Julienne. We are forging the future. Team on three, one, two, three, team! team.